decades, technology has advanced in ways we could have only ever dreamt of in our homes, our workplaces, and of course, in our cars. But one little thing that basically makes cars computers on wheels is actually holding some automakers back and forcing some temporary shutdowns. North American automakers are feeling the ripple effects of the pandemic with a global shortage of semiconductor chips, chips that control some of the most basic to the most complicated functions of your car. As a result, a number of assembly plants have paused production, and 680 automotive expert Tim Demopoulos explains that the industry is playing catch up after what continues to be a very unpredictable time. And uh, what happened with semiconductor manufacturers is they basically anticipated a much longer slowdown in the automotive industry and shifted their supply to other industries and other industries gobbled it up. Those industries being entertainment and electronic, which saw demand skyrocket in response to the pandemic. This move left auto manufacturers like Fiat Chrysler scrambling. They've temporarily closed their plant in Brampton. And although they won't say this, uh, what they're likely doing is they're shifting whatever available supply they have of their semiconductors into other models that are uh, higher volume and higher margin. When I reached out for comment, they issued this statement. We are working closely with our global supply chain network to manage any manufacturing impact caused by the global microchip shortage. As a result, we have taken the decision to delay the restart of our Toluca, Mexico plant and schedule downtime at our Canadian plant in Brampton, Ontario, which builds the Chrysler 300, Dodge Charger and Dodge Challenger. So the big question is, how will this shortage affect the consumer? The average transaction price has remained pretty high because there's a scarcity of vehicles. And there's not only a scarcity of, of new vehicles, there's actually a scarcity of used vehicles in the market, as well as people who had leases that expired during the COVID pandemic actually held on to their vehicles. Other experts say that this global shortage will impact the supply chain well into 2021. Other companies that are also pausing production or scaling back include VW, Honda, Toyota, Ford, Nissan, which just means it's going to be increasingly difficult as time goes on for you to find the car you want and the model and color you want and the timeline that you want. Stephanie Henry, City News.